In the vending industry, first impressions are absolutely everything. At Complete Trailers, we understand the value of providing the highest quality products that we can possibly offer to our customers. That's what we've done here. We've taken one of our popular 7x12 vending trailers and we've added a bunch of accessories and went with the highest quality materials that we could offer. We're going to take a look at some of those differences here. This particular trailer is available in both a steel frame, shown here, or an aluminum frame. Now the aluminum frame is going to cut a little bit of weight off the trailer and it's not going to oxidize like your steel frame counterparts. Now what we're doing here is an all tubular steel frame, 16 on center cross members, floor roof walls. The most striking part of this entire trailer is the custom blue paint that we went with here. You're not seeing that out in the market as of yet, so we're the first ones to be offering this as a stock trailer that we're going to be stocking from here on forward. Stainless steel front corners here and a stainless steel front wrap. Again, I'm just pointing out some of the differences versus other trailers that we offer. This is an upgrade, it's not polished aluminum. The motor base plug here, you're gonna see down in the corner, that's what powers the electrical that we'll talk about here in just a moment. So you plug in a cord into that plug right there and uh, you plug it into your power source and you've got power inside. Now before we went with this custom blue paint, we went with a 50 thousandths screwless exterior. Most other competitors out there are 0.024 thickness, which is basically paper thin. By going with a 5.0, it's a real sturdy, heavy gauge aluminum on the outside, and it won't pre present that wavy look that you see in a lot of other trailers there. Again, we're all about presentation when it comes to your customers, and you want to be showing the highest quality trailer, which is going to represent you and your product that you're selling from this trailer when you're talking to your customers. The window that you see here comes integrated with a fold down countertop. So you just simply lift up this window awning door here and uh, you fold down your countertop. Now there's glass and screens integrated together here. In this particular configuration, you're gonna see a flip up or a slide up window here, slide up window here uh, with a stationary pane of glass here in the center. So you could have two lines at the, this particular trailer. You could have an order line and a pickup window over here. We also went with the 5,000 pound or 5,200 pound torsion axle. We upgraded the axle to give you plenty of capacity on the inside of the trailer so you can put your refrigerator, freezer, fryer, whatever you're gonna do with the trailer, you've got enough capacity on the inside that we'll take a look at here in just a few moments. We went with aluminum wheels as well as LED lights all the way around. Now let's talk for a moment about health department requirements. We rely on our customers to go to the health department to let us know what is required in your locality. Contrary to popular belief, there is no national wiring code or national plumbing code. It's all based on the locality in which the end customer lives. And we rely on you to go to your health department first, discuss what is needed inside the trailer, and we can conform to that as long as we know about that up front. So everything we see here on the inside of this trailer is a general uh, plumbing package and general electrical that we feel will pass most, most requirements. Again, depending on your locality, we rely on you to check that out for us. The serving area. So, one popular upgrade that some of our customers have us do is build a brand new trailer. Of course, we can change the color if this is not your preference. Uh, but they also ask us to add additional serving windows. So we can add one here, we can add one on the rear of the trailer as well. Now what you'll see in a moment is on the inside of the trailer, this is all wall space that can be utilized for refrigerators, freezers, that sort of thing, prep tables. But uh, on the roadside of the trailer, we've got a lot of things going on as well. This is actually where you fill up your fresh water connection. Here, there's a little door with a key access. You just open that up. Seven inch lower trim, four inch upper trim. And we've added a RV door with a window and a screen. Now this is an upgraded RV door latch here. You pop this open and you can see this is gonna stop here in a 90 degree angle. What's going on is we've got a gas shock above the door that's gonna prop this door open. And of course, we've got a screen door on the inside. So this will give you plenty of ventilation uh, through the trailer, especially if you get your windows open, if it's a nice day outside. Here we are on the inside of the trailer. You're standing at the sinks, looking toward the rear here. So there's ample wall space here. We've got plenty of receptacles. So there's electrical that's run, as well as a breaker box up on the wall. We try to put that out of the way so it's not taking up any wall space. One big upgrade that you're gonna notice from some of our other vending trailers is the lighting is now all recessed LED. So that is all run 12 volt off of a battery that's mounted and that runs off of a converter. So when you plug into your power source that we showed you earlier, that's gonna run through the converter and charge the battery, which is always gonna give you light. So right now, we're not plugged into anything and here you still have lights on the inside of the trailer. 
From the rear looking toward the front of the trailer, you're gonna see our sink package. Now this is a three basin NSF sink package with a separate hand wash sink. You've got a monitor panel here for your tanks as well as switch panel for your fresh and wastewater tank. Now all of that is an upgrade from some of the other vending trailers that we offer as well as the roof end here. The roof end's already braced and wired for AC, so if you wanna add AC aftermarket, you can do that, it's about an hour installation job and it simply drops right into that same hole. It's a 14 by 14 inch hole uh, that the AC goes in. Now, underneath the sinks, you'll notice that you're gonna see we've got our 12 volt deep cycle battery converter. There is some storage space here. There's a water heater on the other side and some of the plumbing. So there's not a ton of storage, but certainly you can put some things underneath here. Now, if we order a custom trailer for you, we can add additional cabinetry, overhead cabinets. We can add more shelving, you know, whatever you need, but we're trying to keep it clean uh, on the inside of the trailer to give you plenty of space to put your equipment. Here's one final view of the serving window from the inside. And of course, you've got your sliders up and down here. We can add another shelf on the inside of the trailer uh, as well as uh, other storage. We can do cabinetry uh, if that's what a customer prefers. So that is about it for a 7x12 premium vending trailer.